Stay in door. Goodness gracious. I don't know who I made mad in this universe, but when I tell you that my food stamps got stolen today, my food stamps got stolen today. So what's good? How you guys doing? How y'all feeling? Before I start to chop it up today and tell you about the interesting things that have been going on with my life, uh, I'm gonna switch it up to this DJI little microphone and uh, we're gonna give this one here a go. So I'm getting ready to do that in three, two. So what up? How y'all feeling? How y'all doing? I just want to say thank y'all for tapping in with me today. Thank you if you decided to click on this video. Oh man, um, a lot has been going on. A lot has been going on. Whew. Before I start to chop it up about you know my little misfortunes of my food stamps getting stolen, <sighs> I'm starting to kind of. Uh, feel a little bit of a pressure on myself and when I start to feel pressure and when I start to feel like things are starting to get kind of like out of whack and out of sync I like to write so um, today I'm going to be doing something different but I just want to say before I even just go on and just start chopping it up Every time that somebody watches one of my videos, I sincerely, I sincerely appreciate it. Thank you for even giving me the time of day. Thank you for checking me out and just giving me a look. Um, every single person matters. Every single person who decides to just, just give me a chance, like to me, that means the absolute world to me. So with that being said, I just wanna say, um, truly, like, I'm taking myself serious when it comes to this YouTube game, so I would love it and I would appreciate it if individuals out there who check out this video, if you guys like, 
comment, subscribe. If you do like the content, um, just consider just sticking around because I got a lot of dope things in store. But today is going to be kind of a, a different one considering the fact that I got a lot on my mind and I got a lot on my heart. And I just want to share something just straight from the heart. I'm about to turn 35 and I'm not going to lie. I'm low-key freaking out. And uh, whew, there's a lot that I'm feeling, there's a lot that I'm thinking. And if you guys don't mind, I would like to just express a few things to you that I wrote down inside my notebook. So I'm gonna start with the note and then I'm gonna go from there. So I'm gonna read from my notebook. So if you guys don't mind, um, I'm gonna go ahead and share my entry from how I was feeling because your boy about to turn the big, you know what I'm saying, KD, <laughs> that Kevin Durant, you feel me? So I'm just gonna kick it to you. First and foremost, if you made it to my channel, I sincerely want to thank you again. I truly appreciate it from the bottom of my heart. When I make these videos, my number one goal is to be genuine and authentic. Also, my goal is to be transparent with my life because I truly believe that whenever I turn on my camera, the interaction should be sincere. From telling you guys how my food stamps got stolen or me coming up on some luck, I want the communication and the energy to always be the same. In a little less than a week, I'm going to be turning 35 and I am terrified, I'm fucking terrified to keep it a stack. I work a full-time job, I take care of my mom, I take care of my business. I try to do right, but I still don't have it figured out. I'm struggling to get by. I legit paid my rent a couple days ago and I barely have $15 to my name as a grown ass man. Now, I don't say this for people to feel sorry for me. I am just sharing my thoughts. I just wanna grow as a man. And I wanna figure out how to become the best version of who I truly am. There are many things in this world that can trouble me at times. But one of the biggest things that troubles me is being a failure. That's at the top of the list. Sometimes I feel lost and I don't know what to do. But what I try to do is always stay in the present moment. And speaking of the present moment, right now, I legit don't know how me and my mom are gonna be able to afford food for this next week because our food stamps got stolen, like I said. But I'm a Geary and we don't give up. I know it might sound corny, but this is how I feel. I done been a Debbie Downer before and I've been in dark places where my thoughts have not been clear. But I refuse to be that person. No matter how bad it may seem, I am going to believe that good can happen. One of the things that I know as a man is that some of the times we don't talk until it's too late. I don't want it to be one of those times for me. I want to stay on course. I want to stay in the right mind. For anybody out there that's watching this video, I just want to tell you that for anybody out there who's having a tough time, trust me, you're not alone in this life. And just know that number one, if you feel that nobody's there, I'm always going to be there. If you feel like you have nobody to talk to, you could always reach out. You could always talk. If you feel like the whole world is caving in, just know that there's somebody on the other side of the camera who feels the same way as you do sometimes. With all this being said, one of my biggest conclusions from getting ready to turn 35 to being in the present moment to getting my food stamp stolen, I just wanna have a heart and I wanna have a mind of gratitude. I wanna be genuine, I wanna be sincere, and I wanna be even kill, even through the fire. One of the reasons why I do what I do is because I believe in this relationship that I have with anybody that comes across my channel. I believe in keeping it real. I believe in telling the truth, 
about exactly where I am in life. There's nothing for me to hide. I can't fake the funk. I'm just living right now. And like I said, I'm about to turn 35 and the shit fucking scares me. But I'm not gonna let this stop me from becoming who I truly wanna be. There's plenty of other things that I can sit here and talk about with you guys about my life. I just wanted just to read this letter from my notebook. And I just wanted to just talk to you guys about how I'm feeling and what I'm thinking. Because like I said, I don't want to ever be one of those people where it's too late to where you feel like you can't talk. I think that's going to be it for me today. I want to say thank you guys so much for just tapping in with me. Thank you so much for even giving me a look. If you like the content, if you rock with me, let's go up. Let's keep making it happen. This year is going to be the best year of my life. I truly feel and I believe that. I don't know how. <laughs> I don't know how it's going to work itself out, but I feel like it is going to work itself out. Your boy is Johnny. Don't ever give up. I don't ever give up. I don't ever quit. I don't ever stop. And even when it feels like I'm out of the game and the score is up, it could be 100 to nothing. I feel like I still could win. <laughs> so with that being said i'm gonna tap it with y'all later your boy johnny i'm gonna be out peace So since you guys tapped in with me today, I wanna do something just a little bit special. This is just my little send off. Um, it is my birthday coming up and I wanna play my singing bowl for you. Um, this is my Tibetan singing bowl. This thing is super sick. Um, this thing is a beast. I don't know if you can see inside of there, but it has some dope eyes. Um, but I just wanna play my singing bowl for you just to give you a little send off. So tap in with me next time and uh, I'm gonna go ahead and just do this. It's for my birthday. Thank you. I love you guys. I'm tapping with y'all later. Boy Johnny. I'm out. You know what I realized? I told you guys about how me turning 35 is scaring the living shit out of me, but I never told you guys about how my food stamps got jacked, how my food stamps got stolen, how they were just thieves. And I'm gonna do that as fast as I possibly can. So boom, 
It's Friday. We get our food stamps. I wake up super early in the morning. My mom, she's like, hey, hey Johnny, I'm gonna need you to go to the store to get a few things for breakfast. And you know, we just got the foodie bowls, so everything's finna be real copacetic. So I'm at the store, I'm grabbing ruffles, I'm grabbing dip, I'm grabbing uh, steaks, I'm grabbing all the, the, the best of the best, right? So I get up to the register and the lady, she start checking me out we get to the end of her checking out all the groceries and then my eat better tonight card declined so i'm like let's run it again this ain't right we just filled up you know what i'm saying they just filled up the food stamp cards so we should be good so she swiped it again and it says decline i'm like damn what the hell going on so i call my mama and she like yo guess what i'm like what she like our food stamps got stolen i'm like how is that even possible so some skimmer for whatever place that we use the, the Eat Better Tonight card, I guess it was a faulty uh, place where we were shopping or where I was shopping or wherever the hell it was. So yeah, pretty much, yeah. I don't got any money. I got about $15 in my name after our food stamps got stolen. So uh, that's the story. I know, I know, it's devastating, travesty. I know they pretty much got our EBT card information and uh, niggas could not eat. I was at the store. I was devastated. Fifty four dollars right there. You know, for some food, we couldn't even do it. So, yeah, that's pretty much how our food stamps got stolen. Somebody skimmed and scammed us. Two hundred and nineteen dollars. Go. Sheesh. Damn shame. It sucks. The niggas can't eat for a week. I'm about to look like Kylie Jenner or something like that. <laughs> I'll holla at y'all later, man. I should, yeah, with it. Bye. Peace.